remember why the globalists are angry. Remember why the Democrats are so upset. Remember why they're foaming at the mouth. Remember why they are so aggressive and trying to bully people. Because their identity is controlling you and running your life. And they all said Trump couldn't win, or they said Trump didn't want to win, and they said when he won, he, he would never turn the economy around, never have a 3% growth rate. Just like they told me when I was 19 years old and went in and tried to audition with a tape and tried to work at a radio station, and they said, talk radio doesn't want you, boy, and laughed at me. Then I got my first radio show, and it was number one within a year in the city of Austin, number one, period. And then they fired me because I wouldn't stop talking bad about Bill Clinton. And then the rest is history. We've got Theresa May trying to sabotage the Brexit, and the British voters are hopping mad. We've got Macron walking back mass migration, tells migrants to succeed in Africa after he called for 200 million Africans to come to Europe. <laughs> And it, but his actions are opening the borders up. So uh, these, these people just don't get how they're awakening folks. There's also an article up on DrudgeReport.com that's really critical by Michael Snyder from EconomicCollapseBlog.com. Uh, it's posted to Infowars.com. Mass exodus from the church, the percentage of young adults with no religious affiliation, has nearly quadrupled since 1986. And I'm going to talk later in the next segment about why that's happened. It's been done by design because these are no longer churches, ladies and gentlemen. They're little devil centers in most cases. So we're going to be looking at all of that. And now i got another article, Dan Lyman, the head of uh, InfoWars Europe with EuropeWars.com. He is here in town uh, working with us on a business visit from his home base in Switzerland. And he's going to be in studio to talk about the awakening of Europe, but the next big wave coming in that's bigger than the one we just saw in the last five years, and the troops in Austria, Hungary, Poland, bracing for the human waves uh, that we've seen those famous drone videos of you know, tens of thousands, like a giant snake. Uh, that is all coming up. Too dangerous. National Postal Service suspends service to another Islamic enclave in Sweden. So now they admit no-go zones all over Europe when just two years ago they had BBC articles, London Guardian articles, you name it, saying Paul Joseph Watson was a white supremacist and was an insane liar, basically. They don't even say that anymore because it blew up in their face. That he claimed there were no-go zones. Well, he'd just been at one with people threatening to kill him with Joe Biggs and our crew. <sighs> Shootings, bombings, you name it, are, are exploding. And it, it's like Beirut and the British government just put a travel advisory out on going to Sweden. Sweden had the lowest crime rate in Europe after Switzerland. Now it is hellish. And they're bringing in populations that after five years, 90% don't have jobs. And they only deport you if you try to get one. That's in Germany, Sweden. It's the same socialist policy. They want huge, angry, disenfranchised Muslim groups that come from literal dirt floor villages where women are sold on slave blocks and don't know what planet they're on, running around foaming at the mouth on welfare, ready to be politically directed. And after they killed Gaddafi, who was stabilizing much of Africa, it got 20 times worse. It was all planned out. See, if you could industrialize and educate people in North Africa, then you could bring them in. But you can't bring them in from road warrior scenarios. But enough of that. That's coming up. Right now, we are going to go to this little compilation I've seen a lot of these compilations, and I think Trump's right. He tweeted this out today, and, and, and we're going to tweet it out right now. Real Alex Jones, you should retweet it. To remember why the globalists are angry. Remember why the Democrats are so upset. Remember why they're foaming at the mouth. Remember why they are so aggressive and trying to bully people. Because their identity is controlling you and running your life. 
and they all said Trump couldn't win, or they said Trump didn't want to win, and they said when he won, he, he would never turn the economy around, never have a 3% growth rate. Just like they told me when I was 19 years old and went in and tried to audition with a tape and tried to work at a radio station, and they said, talk radio doesn't want you, boy, and laughed at me. Then I got my first radio show, and it was number one within a year in the city of Austin, number one, period. And then they fired me because I wouldn't stop talking bad about Bill Clinton. And then the rest is history. So I love them, and we've got the right stuff, and America has the right stuff, and you've got the right stuff, no matter what color you are or where you came from. If you love God, if you love justice, if you have common sense, you've got the right stuff. And we're not going to live dependently under these globalists anymore. But it's important to remember why they hate InfoWars, why they hate Trump, why they hate you, why they hate our military, which has been used for bad things, and the globalists are, and there's problems, but it's still men and women that are willing to stand up and do something. Men and women that are willing to fight. You think the cowards like Hillary Clinton and her stolen glory, like Brian Williams, told the same type story about being shot at and you know shot down and all this crap? Do you think they like strong people, little, weak, weaselly people like them are the ones that always serve evil because they lust after power because they don't have innate power. When you have innate power, it's not an arrogance, it's not a pride, it's a understanding. And you don't want to prey on the weak. Not these people, they want to prey on you and your family. So here's the video they don't want you to see. I am officially running for President of the United States. Could he actually win? No freaking way! Which Republican <laughs> candidate has the best chance of winning the general election? Donald Trump. <laughs> There's not going to be a President Donald Trump. Trump will not be President. Trump will never be elected President of the United States. You're not going to be President. A All man right? who will never be President of the United States. Donald Trump is not going to be President of the United States. Thanks. He will never be President. Donald Trump is not going to become President of the United States. She's at plus 19. Do you think the tapes made a difference? Of course! They made all the difference! This race is over. Hillary Clinton has raised more than double Donald Trump, vastly outspending him. The presidency at about 89% for Hillary Clinton. Uh, your analytical model has uh, never been wrong. Now projects Hillary Clinton to win presidential election. 100% chance. You still think she has 100% chance of winning the election? Mm. I do. And what would Donald Trump have to do to turn things around? Prayer and hope for a Festivus miracle. <laughs> this is CNN's coverage of election night in America. The fight for the presidency. Because we don't care. Oh, okay, how Kentucky? Who cares? Kentucky, don't no, care about you in Indiana. Don't care. Indiana with it's West Virginia, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Mississippi, South Carolina, Alabama, Kansas, Nebraska, and Wyoming with its vote. North Dakota and South Dakota, Texas. Uh, uh, up and down the middle of the country, all red. Arkansas, Louisiana, the state of Montana, Missouri. Yes. It was at 80% an hour ago for Clinton. What is it now? 68%. Okay, I uh, got... I'm nervous. Ohio. Oh, 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 hold, hold. Ohio, gone. Idaho. Okay, yeah, I don't see a landslide here. I don't see it at all. North Carolina. God it, if we need Florida, are you me? Florida. It, it is panic time. New Georgia. Donald Trump, now the favorite to win the president's Iowa. <clears throat> New York Times now has it at... 95% chance. Utah. Can still win, but in order to do so, she has to win Wisconsin. Wisconsin. God damn. Arizona. Alaska. Pennsylvania. Michigan. All of what Florida. a night. It do you remember when the New York Times for the entire election, in the primaries and right through to election day, had Hillary at 98% chance of winning? Now, by election day, so to hedge their bets, it dropped to 82%, I remember. And you just saw the pundit talk about that from election night. And then as the night went on, by 10 o'clock at night, they had it projected 50-50. They're not God. They're not God, ladies and gentlemen. They just tell you that there's no such thing as mothers and fathers, and there's only 500 genders. They tell you vaccines are safe and effective. They tell you GMO is good for you. They tell you communism and socialism is good. And it's all this mind game 
with some pumpkin-headed demon witch with a bunch of scumbag Hollywood trash running around calling for civil war and death and saying we're in a civil war. And I go, okay, we're in a civil war. And they go, ha, 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 all over the news. Alex Jones says we're in a civil war. What a kook. It's only on the cover of USA Today. And he only predicted it all. Gosh, he keeps being right. What do we do? Just ridicule him. <laughs> A few years ago, ideas that we talked about were thought to be fringe ideas, radical ideas, extremist ideas. Those ideas are now mainstream. I, I, I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. Do something about your dad's immigration practices, you feckless What's Uncle Tom but for white women who disappoint other white women? One way you get rid of Trump is a crashing economy, so please bring on the recession. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. It has been said that the Republican Party's testicles just dropped. That wasn't an Infowars.com ad you just saw. That was officially put out by the Republican Party. Ladies and gentlemen, they're finally getting the fact that the globalists are trying to start a violent revolution in this country and overthrow it and bring it down just like Venezuela and so many others that have fallen to socialism and communism. And now Alexandra Cortez, 28-year-old communist, that's her platform. She calls herself a democratic socialist. Is another bellwether winning a primary against the Democrat establishment candidate in New York? Ladies and gentlemen, there are few countries that have not fallen to socialism and communism. And that's because the big mega banks that are offshore finance it to bring down countries and control populations and annihilate middle classes. Much of Central and South America are in open martial law right now with millions of people every year starving to death or being killed. Hundreds of millions are trying to migrate up to North America, threatening to collapse El Norte as well. Meanwhile, in Africa, in the Middle East, the UN and the globalists came in in front of the Arab Spring to bring down moderate pro-Western governments engage in mass murder and then turn the countries over to jihadis, further collapsing the area, then opening the borders of Europe up for full invasion. The UN has now openly announced that they are planning to take control of the EU during this emergency and bring in 200 million people that they will control. This is 21st century warfare. This is happening. But the good news is, all over the world, people are waking up to the globalist plan. Thanks to the viewers and listeners of InfoWars who have been recognized by the president, by the Pentagon, and by patriots and in our intelligence agencies as being the original emergency beacon that started the chain reaction globally, allowing us to see this worldwide movement of populism, nationalism against collectivism and the big mega banks. But we've got to go further now. We've got to identify the big tech giants and the Fortune 100, the IBMs, the Microsofts, the Goldman Sachs, and others that are worth tens of trillions of dollars and are above the law who are orchestrating this diabolical plan after oppressing the third world, now collapsing it and using it as a weapon against us. The globalists recognize that InfoWars has been on the very front lines of this global awakening. And they don't want us to be there as this fight intensifies to continue to rally free humans all over the planet against this diabolical globalist program. That's why it's more critical than ever that you understand that we are not supported by George Soros or any big banks or any big corporations. We are supported by you, the viewers, and the listeners that buy the products at InfoWarsStore.com. We need to be reprovisioned in this fight. We need to be able to fund our operation. And we make it easy with products like Super Blue, fluoride-free toothpaste, mouthwash, immune gargle, and so much more, fortified with colloidal silver, fortified with the highest quality iodide, fortified with natural essential oils and more. You help your teeth, 
You help your body, you help your gums, you help your country, you help your planet through free market, free association. The products are 50% off right now going through our super sale that we're gonna have on July 4th. Infowarsstore.com, infowarslife.com. This is where you finance the second American revolution with the United States now attempting to stop the global government empire, attempting to take back control of our destiny on a global scale.